What's up, YouTube? This is Bison and XM and guys. Today I'm coming to you with my latest tip profile video for May 2020. And today, guys, we're going to be looking at my Horatic deck for the May format. When the Master Rule 5 was announced, I started going through a lot of my older decks, trying to figure out which decks would really be able to get back to where they were before the Link Era Master Rule went into effect. Of course, I looked at a lot of the decks. Heretics really came up to me um, as one of the decks that I wanted to take a look at underneath Master Rule 5, primarily because the decks could put up some pretty damn impressive wards. It can play second, it can play going first, and to be very honest, this deck can still utilize Lick Monsters, not relying on them anymore. You still have your rank 6 and rank 8 plays, you have synchro plays in this deck. So the deck does have a lot of different tools to really deal with your opponent or put problematic monsters on the board for your opponent to deal with. And I can tell you right now, it is damn fun to play. So let's turn around and take a look at this deck. Three copies of Heretic Dragon Acid. Acid is level 5 monster, but it is the combo starter, primarily because you can actually normal summon it out of your hand without tributing it. If you do, its attack goes down to 1,000, and its level becomes 4, but it, you don't have to really worry about that. Another cool effect that it has is that if you have any face-up normal monster on the field, you can actually target that monster, and then all face-up erratic monsters on your field become, have their levels modified equal to that face up normal monster which is actually very key and important to your plays for your Ixies which is actually very good. And then like all other main deck Heretic monsters whenever this card is tributed you get a normal Dragon type monster on, out of your deck or hand or graveyard onto the field and it is just an amazing way to build your field, get some powerful Ixies monsters on the board and just go in and win with some massive attack. All right, next card up, we got three copies of Heretic Dragon of Sue. Sue is typically the other card you want to be seeing alongside Acid, primarily because you can tribute off Acid to special summon him from the, from your hand onto the field that will triple off Acid's effect to get you that normal monster from your deck to your, to your field, and from there you can just start building your field depending on whatever way you want to go. If you want to go links, you want to go Xyz, you want to go synchros, it's really up to you. This card will do it for you. Also, you can target another Heretic monster that's on the field. Pop one of your opponent's spells and trap, which is actually a very useful effect against certain matchups, so worth it. Three copies of Heretic Dragon of Tefnuit. Tefnuit is actually pretty awesome in this deck. It's kind of the Cyber Dragon of the Heretic archetype, allowing you to special summon itself if your opponent controls a monster and you don't. So it's great for recovery plays if you go one first, but it's also very go awesome if you're going second. Can't attack the turn, you summon it like this, but still, it's on the field, and if you have Heretic Dragon Sue in hand, trip it off, get Sue out, and go into your plays from there. So, definitely a three of. One last copy is I'm actually running one copy of Heretic Dragon of Nuit. Nuit requires it to be targeted by another card effect to really be able to summon out the normal dragon from your hand deck or graveyard. Um, plenty of different effects that this deck has to really utilize that effect. It is a level 4, so it's another combo starter just in case you don't open up with Asset and you open up with him. So definitely worth having in this deck. No Heratic deck is worth its salt without Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon. Uh, just be careful, there is an errata coming out at the beginning of next month in Toon Chaos because that's where we're getting the errata version of Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon. You can only special summon this card once per turn with that new errata in this fact. But still, it does get the job done being able to bring out monsters from your graveyard uh, and your field turn after turn. And there is a way to actually get this card on your field full power without having to utilize the heretics of a Tums ability, so very awesome. Three copies of Dragard. Dragard is actually very awesome in this deck. On normal summon you could target a dragon type monster, normal dragon type monster that has a thousand or less attack, special summon it to your side of the field. 
and from there you can go off into your links or even your synchro plays another cool thing you can tribute off another monster that you have on your field and then you can target one other monster on the field and max this level out to eight so you can actually modify this card's level and really be able to play around with different aspects of the modulations to get different plays so I can tell you right now, it does work, it does work well, and you want to be seeing this card once you get certain cards in your graveyard. One copy of Omni Dragon Pro Tour. This is the card that I alluded to with Red Eyes versus Ball Dragon. Um, it works very well hand in hand with uh, the Red Eyes, primarily because whenever this card is special summoned, you can target one card on your field and search your deck for a monster with the same attribute and type. So you can search out any of the other Heretics you might need to get into your hand, or you can search out any of the other support cards that we're utilizing just to be able to continue your play stream. Search out Turkey himself, search out the Red Eyes of the Small Dragon. You can banish him and then bring out Red Eyes of the Small Dragon at full power so you don't have to worry about it being having his attack bottomed out. So it's not a bad trade off, and it gives you an additional search and a little bit more consistency in the deck. Two copies of Galactic Spiral Dragon. Spiral Dragon is actually a pretty awesome card. Whether it's cards in your hand or your graveyard, if you control two or more Dragon type monsters on the field, you can special summon them from either the hand or the graveyard, which is huge. Its effect allows you to change every Dragon type monsters of a level into level eight for the rest of your turn. So this allows you to access your rank eight plays a little bit better. And it's an easy summon, so definitely worth having in this deck. And of course the last piece, I am running Dragon Buster of Destruction Sword. Bring this card out and equip utilizing Union Carrier and it locks your opponent out of the extra deck. So this is definitely an amazing going first play just to be able to shut your opponent down like that. It definitely works. Power and because of Union Carrier power boosting your monsters by an additional thousand attack. Yeah, it can really put some powerful monsters on the board that are really problematic. For vanillas. We have the Dragon Core Hexer. Core Hexer is not just a level 8 monster, but it's also a level 8 tuner, and this helps you go, go into particular synchro plays. Same thing with the Labradorite Dragon, it's a level 6 tuner. We have Wattail Dragon, and I am running at least one copy of Blue Eyes White Dragon in this deck, uh, primarily because there are ways to actually get him out with full power, or at least get him out of the graveyard on the field at full power and this additional 3k attack body on the board isn't a bad thing so on to the spells a lot of level sixes in this deck so celestial observatory definitely necessary in this deck allows you to take a unneeded level six from your hand or on your field put on the bottom of your deck and you draw two more cards seeing more cards is definitely Something very awesome in this deck, and you want to be utilizing this card to the max. Three copies of Draco Connection. Draco Connection is a, kind of my little tech card in this deck. It allows you to basically modify your deck a little bit better. Um, so you can fix your hands and be able to play a little bit more consistently. If you have this card and a Tefunit in your hand, you can swap it out for a Sue. This way you can continually get your plays going and you won't have to worry about bricky hands. I'm also running three copies of Dragon Shrine. Dragon Shrine actually pretty important in this deck because you can actually thin your deck out very well. I find myself dropping this card just to pitch a normal vanilla monster and a galactic spiral um, dragon into the graveyard just to set up future plays. It's damn awesome and you want to be able to utilize this to thin out your deck as much as possible so yes three copies of the heretic seal of connotation this is the search bell for your heretic deck gets you your the heretic monsters that you need into your hand so definitely worth having monster reborn what can i say monster reborn great all-around generic support for any deck brings back monsters from any graveyard i am running two copies of power of the guardian power of the guardian is our act is an amazing equip spell in this deck equip it to a monster it gains 500 attack points for every spell counter that's actually on this card 
and this card gains spell counters whenever the monster that's equipped with isn't involved in an attack, which is actually pretty damn huge. So you're power boosting it by at least 500 attack every for every counter. Also, if the monster would be destroyed by card effect or battle, you can just remove one counter from this card to protect it. So yeah, you can give some longevity to a lot of different monsters in this deck. That's why we wanted a two. We got three copies of Silver Crime. Again, this is to bring back your normal monsters to basically continue your plays. Very awesome card for Xyz monsters or just getting additional attack power on the field. So definitely something to bring back your blue eyes with. And last but not least, I am running one copy of Upstart Goblin. Um, this deck really doesn't care about the 1,000 extra life punch you give to your opponent. You're seeing an additional card. If I was going to swap this card out for anything, it would probably be for a third Celestial Observatory. But, right now, it does its job, so it's in. For the extra deck, can't run a Horatic deck without Horatic Seal of Heavenly Spheres. Tribute any Dragon Time monster off your field or from your hand to balance one of your opponent's monsters off the, off the board, which is very awesome. If this card itself is tributed, you could actually special summon another Dragon Time monster from your deck onto the field because the attack is and defense is bottom out to zero but still very worth it union carrier again this is where the destruction sword plays to lock out your opponent from the extra deck and of course if you're feeling froggy you want to go up into a link four boral sword dragon otk machine definitely worth having in your deck to finish off your opponent for your Xyz plays, we are running two copies of Heretic Dra King of a Tomb. This is the card that can special summon out any Dragon Type monster from your deck to your field. Attack and defense are bottomed out to zero, but still, it allows you to get your plays going. So, very awesome. One copy of number 39, Utopia Beyond. This card on some will bottom out all of your opponent's monsters attack to zero and that's a permanent attack decrease so so worth it in this deck to help blow out your opponent for some rank eights Dengirsu on summon sends a um, problematic monster from your opponent's board to the graveyard you can live on the field it can protect your smaller monsters so all around great utility card definitely something if you, you need in any that can go right into rank eights we have one copy of Number 38, the whole Poppinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. Engage spell cards. Can redirect the text to itself, so always worth it. And then I'm actually running one copy of number 46, Dragalon. Dragalon's got some pretty nasty effects, allowing you to swipe monsters from your opponent as long as a dragon type. And we do have another monster in this deck that can actually change all your opponent's monsters into dragon types, so that's actually pretty cool. Allows some very nasty plays to go on, and it's cheeky. All right, for the synchro plays, main card you would want to be getting out is going to be Zulkin. Zulkin, in order to summon it, you need a tuner monster and a non-tuner monster. The tuner has to be above level five, and the non-tuner monster has to equal the same level as the tuner. So we have a bird -like dragon as level six, and dragon core hexer as the level eight. So either of those monsters on the field with a matching non-tuner monster will get this guy out. Very awesome card. Whenever you set a spell or trap card to your back row, you're special summoning another level 8 or 7 dra Dragon Synchro Monster from your extra deck. And I can tell you right now, as long as you control that monster, another Dragon Synchro Monster, you cannot destroy this card by card effect or battle, which is actually pretty awesome. So definitely gets you into a lot of different plays. One of the cards you pr could bring out, especially if you have Dragon on the field, this could be Buster Dragon. Turns all your opponent's monsters into Dragon type monsters, so you can utilize Dragon Line's effects to the fullest of capabilities. Very cool little cheeky little play, and it is worth having in this deck. Going first, you can easily go with Crystal Wing. Crystal Wing can negate monster effects, power itself up, so, yep, definitely worth having in this extra. I'm also running Darken. Darken, I typically like you bringing out, especially if I'm planning on going into Nagirsu a little bit later. Summon out 
Dark Ann uses a fight to pay 500 attack and defense off, off of its own attack and defense to send one of your opponent's monsters to the graveyard. Overlay it with another level 8 to bring out the Gears 2 to send a second monster to the graveyard. So you're basically breaking their board with that play. Very awesome. And for some level 10 plays, I have Dragositis, the Netherworld Dragon. It's a level 10 single. You bring this card out with your Labrador Dragon and your Dragart, which is awesome. It has 4,000 attack. If this card attacks and destroys one of your opponent's monsters by battle, it gets a second attack on a monster. Just imagine that with Power of the Guardians or even Buster Sword equipped via yeah via the Union Carrier. Yeah. This card can get big real fast. And all of that, but during your standby phase, you can target one of your opponent's monsters. Cut that monster's attack in half, and then you hit your opponent with burn damage for that lost attack. So definitely something to really help you win games. And the last level 10, great for going second in my opinion, is Trident Dragon. When this card is synchro summon, you can target up to two cards on your field, destroy them, and then it gets additional attacks for every card destroyed by its effect. Target a new it, you get an additional normal monster on the field. So you're getting the idea there. Three attacks with 3k, it's not bad. Start mixing in things with Destruction Sword and Power of the Guardians, you get the idea, you can get some pretty nasty attacks. And unlike um, the Netherworld Dragon, Trident Dragon can actually attack directly, so once you get over certain power meta cards, you can actually start hitting your opponent pretty hard in the life point. so, yeah. Guys, that is it for my Heretic deck for the May 2020 format. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the deck. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. But if you want to see more content like, like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe, enable the notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Check out the description box below. Find the links to my affiliates, TCG Player, as well as SciDeckVersus.com. Great resources for, for any Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Check out my invite link to my Discord server, join a conversation, we'll love to have you. Follow me on social media, Reddit and Twitter, and guys, until next time, peace.